Hey movie junkies, welcome back to Twin Flicks, where we are always celebrating cinema with you. And today we have a new one from the MVD Rewind Collection. But before we dive into my review, if you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber and do all the things to do your part in helping this channel grow. We really appreciate it. So today's review, as I said, comes from the MVD Rewind Collection. It is 1992's My... That's not it. This is coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. So 1992's... Mikey, what what better way is there to describe the movie than the tagline itself? Remember, Jason and Freddy were kids once too. <laughs> and, he, and he's looking behind my shoulder right now. Which way is it? <laughs> movie review. Mikey has been adopted by a new family after his parents tragically died in an accident. At first, Mikey seems like just a cute little fun kid that everyone loves, except for one minor problem. He's an evil, bloodthirsty murderer. And now after a series of murderous accidents, his adoptive parents find out that Mikey is the cause of them, and now they have to fight for their lives as Mikey turns on them. Oh, <laughs> scary stuff there. Really scary. Ooh. So this is one of those early 90s, low-budget, direct-to-DVD, sold-to-showtime kind of movies. It does have its moments, and the child actor who plays Mikey, who also played Andy in Family Ties, is actually really good in this. The movie has a lot of going for it, but it's honestly, it's really the execution, the way things are set up, and it tries to spring all these, these twists and turns on you, but instead, it, it, just, it, it was just flat out very predictable. You know what's going to happen from the get-go, and it takes itself way too seriously. But if you put all that aside and forget about the predictability and just roll with it, it's an entertaining movie, and it harks back to these early 90s psychopath killer like uh, The Good Son or Hand the Rocks the Cradle, except for a low direct-to-video type budget, and some of the kills are pretty brutal and, and inventive as well. For those reasons alone, I'm going to say it's worth checking out. But I'm giving Mikey a 2.5 out of a 5. It was just way too predictable. And it took itself way too seriously. Blu-ray review. So Mikey drops from the MVD Rewind Collection with a new HD 1080p transfer and a PCM 2.0 stereo audio mix with the aspect ratio of 187 to 1. So Mikey actually has a rather great looking presentation that I was surprised with. It has a nicely varied color palette as well as some exceptional detail levels from articles of clothing down to the gruesome injuries. The biggest issue I found is that it does suffer a lot from fluctuations with some pretty heavy looking grain that can occasionally look a yellow, like has a little yellowish tint to it. Other than that though, I honestly noticed no real major damage. There was no uh, the white flecks or any kind of scratches. And it does have some good video stabilization. So overall, I was pretty impressed with, uh, with this new transfer. As for the audio, Mikey has a solid stereo track that holds up very well. Sound effects and music all hold up and has some good reverb and range. Dialogue is also rendered very cleanly and clearly. This is a pretty decent, problem-free audio transfer. Now as for the extras, it has an excellent feature-length documentary on the making of the film and a really cool anatomy of a specific scene uh, with an interview. And it comes with a theatrical trailer. And as usual with an MVD Rewind Collection, it comes with a nice fold-out poster and a nice retro VHS slipcover. So for my Blu-ray score, I'm going to give it for the video and audio a 4 out of a 5. I was really surprised by the transfer and the quality of the video and audio along with the movie. It's fun if you just put away all reality and just kind of roll with it. It's, it's a fun movie. Well guys, before you click out of this video, drop down in the comments, do me a huge favor, let me know if you remember seeing Mikey back in the day, and if you plan on picking up this new Blu-ray from, from MVD. And we have a UHD review that's coming up that I'm so excited about, Alfred Hitchcock Collection from Universal in a new 4K UHD format. Can't wait to review that. Once again guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Put it down.